I like energy, ice and Hennessy, I for four. Energy, ice and Hennessy, a plus for four. With a life like this, I can never be a plus for four. Relax. Hey, Gucci! This is Countess Lady, and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so yeah i went m.i.a i wanted to do a december vlog i did it but it was kind of messy so i'll do what i did like the other time you see right here a december recap and i'll just put all the videos i could get together and be jam when i was like going out jamming with my friends meeting my friends you know when you get so like caught up in the moment like you forget to record that was me <laughs> i'm so sorry and like I was doing a lot of people would text me. I hope you are recording. I hope you are recording. I was like, yes. <laughs> but no, I wasn't. And I wanted to do a video prior. And I think I'll still do it. But I wanted to do this video first. I asked you guys on my Instagram. If you are not following me on my Instagram, then obviously you do not know. Say, baby, pause this video and go and follow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come on. Okay. So, pause this video and go and follow. It's going to be up on the screen. Lady Dazzy, Snapchat, Lady <laughs> Hype. Boy, if you don't get. Shut up. Do you know she backs her hair with like. Gio, please. I'm trying to record. Life of being a mom is so hard. <laughs> So, Dio, stop it. I'm not in your mood. If you are looking for a fight, I am not in your mood. Not in your mood. So your if you are looking for a fight, I'm not in your mood. I'm not in your mood. But wait, don't forget to like and subscribe. Put on your post notifications so you don't miss any videos. Don't forget to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell that she got her tell her uncle's brother's cousin, <laughs> grandfather's, Dio, shut up. Uncle's brother's, grandfather's, grand uncle's, everything to come like and subscribe because 2021, we're coming different. So today I decided to try something new and from the title, you guys already know that I'm rating the celebrities I've met. I met so many celebrities in December. If you know, you know, if you're on my Snapchat, I posted them and stuff. So I put a couple of, not even a couple, almost every single person I've met, even people I've met prior, people I knew prior. And I'm rating them for what it said. And hopefully, I did not get sued because I'm trying to be as honest as possible. Some of them, dear. <laughs> if you see me in prison, it's them. But yeah, I'm just doing a mukbang. And if you guys know, my favorite fast food is KFC. So I bought some KFC um, lemon, lime, chicken chili wings lime i don't know what it's called but it's really really good and they brought some new so this is it it's totally not sponsored but this is it yeah and i got some they have some sweet chili dip and it's really 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 good and the fries most of it poured in the rubber kfc do better babe do better so yeah it poured in the rubber so i don't know then I get I get a crusher, an Oreo crusher. Sometimes it's good, sometimes not good, but yeah, I just I just got that. So I'm trying to do a book book. Hey guys, disclaimer, I eat like a dragon. I eat like a dragon, like I don't know how to eat because I don't. I just don't know how to eat. So that's how y'all don't really see me going on dates apart from my friends. <laughs> Cause the guy will run away. I really did not eat, so yeah, I, I was thinking of just, I'm hungry as well, so let me just do a mukbang. This, this will be the first time of me doing a mukbang, so I don't know how to, how to be eating and talking, but yeah, I'm gonna try. So I've opened my crusher and let's get into the tea. 
if you guys want to see a part two i don't think i can do all because i met let me see you two four six two, 22 i met 23 celebrities this december some good some bad and some i was just like what is this what is going on what is this what is going on <laughs> like literally it was i wasn't happy seeing them i wasn't happy being around them i the night ended well but in the beginning i was just like oh so yeah you see they are not only like celebrities they are also like some of them are like influencers like big influencers all around the world like, celebrity in ghana yeah, i don't even know how you even get that position but yeah let's start with pj kev so personally i'll give pj kev a 9 out of 10. he's very friendly he's very lively he's the life of the party whoever you are he's gonna vibe with you dance with you chill with you never make you feel bad but i know i've known him prior like i've known him for a year or two like so to me he's just really really friendly he's really really wise because people i know know him i met him through a friend so probably so i'll give pj kev a nine out of ten now let's go to eva appeal i don't know you guys know her some of you guys know her she's like a big influencer she used to do those lives with father father will cry because the girl doesn't love you but yeah if we talk about like eva eva i'll give her um i'll give eva an a an a because she i don't know she seems very very paranoid like she's vibes and all but she seems very paranoid she seems very hey yo don't come and eat my chicken she seems very like paranoid very jittery like i don't know but because i'm also a very paranoid person sometimes and i have like anxiety when i'm out at times i'm a very confident person but i'm very paranoid as well so she just seems very yeah, yeah like but she's very 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 friendly like i enjoyed being with her i might know i knew it was the one that brought her to ghana so the person told her that yo if it wasn't for lady blah 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 okay let me guys tell you the truth about it before eva came to ghana i knew she was coming because this group wanted like a bunch of influencers that are very popular that Ghanaians like abroad they wanted a bunch of influencers so i created a list of influencers that i think they should bring and i was like listen you guys should bring uh, you guys should bring eva because I was thinking Eva, either Eva or Jada. Jada, little baby's baby mama. Because I know people really, really mess with them. And I was like, you guys should bring Eva, Jada, or someone called Glow Princess. And they later came to me and was like, oh, yeah, so we decided to bring Eva, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh my God. I was like, trust me, Ghanaians are going to really enjoy him because people actually like him. The ticket for the event was quite pricey. I didn't, I didn't, my my hands didn't go into that. But I was, I knew she was coming to Ghana before she even came. So the guy told her that this girl is the reason why you're in, we brought you to Ghana because she was like, you gotta bring Eva, you gotta bring Eva. I was like, oh my god. So I didn't know that she was friendly me, to me because of that. And she want like she she was talking to me and stuff, or she genuinely wanted to be a friendly person. But she's very friendly, even around my friends, around anything even i saw her prior so i thought because like we didn't really really talk talk she would act as if she doesn't know me some celebrities there hey the act as if she doesn't know me but when i went for the event she was like oh my god lady and i was like oh hi girl like what's up how you doing do you stop it ah okay so in peace huh? in general i don't know how people do this mukbang because it's very difficult but in general I fuck with her vibe, like I really, really fuck with her vibe, but she's just very paranoid. But yeah, the next one is her friend Estelle. 
Excel is so pretty. Like, I'll show you Instagram here. All of them, they're going to be up. I'll show you Instagram here, but Excel is way prettier in person. I was like, damn, bitch, you pretty. <laughs> Actually, a very, very pretty girl. Um, we all need to go and follow her because, damn. Right, so I was like, hey, where's the wife? And she was like, well, I was like, you're very pretty. Like, you're actually really pretty. I didn't say that, but I was saying that in my head. Like, she's very pretty. But I told her, like, yo, you're actually very, very pretty. We took snaps together, and that was basically it. So I rate her, like, a 10 out of 10. She's pretty as fuck. Friendly as fuck. And you know what she did? I was like, oh, Eva, like, let's take a snap together. And Eva was like, oh, like, my hair's messed up. I was like, girl, you look fine. Like, what's up? And I still was like, I still was like, Tried to pat her head down. I was like, that is friendship and that is gold. Like, I so I love you. Like, if you see this, I I fuck with you. And yeah, so I'll give Estelle a 10 out of 10. She's a great friend. Like, imagine like fans like me wanted to take videos with her and her wasn't looking the best. So she she went to pat it down, clean her the swell of her face. I was like, girl, go take it. And I was like, ah, yeah, in July. The next one is Satawadi. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let me drink some water because <laughs> it's gonna be a bit juicy. So Satawali huh. I need to use my words very carefully, but <clears throat> Satawali was right next to the table was at a bloom. I'll show you guys the night where I went to Bloom. Like he came, everyone was giving him fun. So I was trying to go around him. And me, I didn't want to like seem like a groupie. So I saw somebody I knew on the table. Like it was for content basis. I wanted to take videos for you guys to see the people I'm meeting, how my December is going. Cause as an influencer, sometimes you might not even know the person, but just for content basis, y'all just, <clears throat> y'all just vibing. So, <clears throat> I saw that and um, I saw a familiar face there. So I knew a girl that knew him, um, knew somebody that knew him on the table or whatever. So I was like, ooh, yeah, with Satawale doing say like, I want to go take a video with him and stuff like that. So when I went, security put a hand in Satawale, I was like, oh yeah, let her in, let her in. So I, I, I went in and stuff like that. Um, he was like, do you know you're very sexy? I was like, thank you. Do you know you're very beautiful? I said, that's why. Like, yeah. And <clears throat> I was like, okay, cool. So this is where it starts to get awkward. So I was like, oh, hi, my name. I didn't even tell him my name. I was like, hi. Um, I would like to take a video with you and blah, 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 blah. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. I thought I was going to put him back to his like, let's go home. I said, Ooh. You know who is going with? <laughs> hey. I was like, oh, no, nah, I'm sorry. I'm not one of those girls. So blah, blah, blah. He just goes, I never say you're one of those girls. And I was like, oh, no. Nah. Can you add me back on Snap? And he was like, oh, his phone is with his boy, so let's take his number. Let's call him in the morning. I was like, oh, sure, no problem. I don't want to go into details. Maybe one day I'll share a story about him. But um, I'll give Shatawale a 4 out of 10. Let me tell you why. Shatawale is a very friendly person. He's very cool, but I don't like the energy he came off with. Like, what do you mean, let's go home? Like, no, I didn't really like his energy, so I'll give it a 4 out of 10. And that's that. I don't want to go into details because I'm going more Sam. But I don't know whether it was someone pranking me or what. But someone made an account. Imagine, I don't know whether it's him, a private account he has. Someone made an account, replied on the snap I took with Shatawale. As, as if it was him 
that he is going to find me because I didn't tell him my name. I was just, I was just like, well, how can I say up for you? He didn't bother to get my name. He said, let's go home. So I was like, hey, holy, cool, but. So when the person texted me, I was like, you didn't even get my name. So how the hell did you even find me? G R and check here. Is that he? Is that CID of Ghana? I don't know whether it was a real account or a fake account, but I said, I don't want to go into detail. So let me say, if it's not him that was doing all those shit in my DMs, I would give him a five or six. But if it's him, I stick with a four or three point five because, nigga. <laughs> I don't know what you think this is, baby girl. The next celebrity is Stoneboy. What I like about Stoneboy, Stoneboy, I'm gonna give him a 10 out of 10. Let me tell you why. Stoneboy is just pure vibes. Like if somebody, if it comes to your table, it comes to your table and stuff like that. So I was at a table, like if you guys didn't know, I was at a table with David because we went to PJ Kev. So when we when David was some boy came because they have a song together. I, I'm sure they are friends, like they fuck with each other like that. And yeah. So some boy came to the table. I went to the table like he was just vibes. If we went to take snaps of him, he was vibes, he was dancing, he was doing his own shit, minding his own business, dancing. And he's just kind of people like if you're dancing, giving you fans. Like, he was just pure vibes, and I really fucked with Stoneboy. Like, I don't even listen to his music like that, like that, but Stoneboy's personality is 100. Like, he's just in his corner, minding his own business. Like, I love Stoneboy. Like, he, like, he was really, really vibes. Like, he was really, really vibes. Okay, so, yeah, I'll give him a 10 out of 10. So, let's go to Joey B. I met him, I met him last year at Fuchella. My, I have a friend that knows him like that like that so we we went to the studio and he was there i don't say he's rude but i don't say he had to talk to us but he didn't even create no conversation it was even his manager that was talking to us plus his friend like he didn't create any conversation it was just awkward vibes like I didn't like I'll give Joey B a five. Like he's not he's he's not friendly. It's not everybody that's friendly. It's not everybody that should come, hey, hey, at least I said, Oh, like you guys, you're so good for the show. Oh, see you there. Like fake things, you don't even need to. And by force, like you don't have to talk to us, but he played his game, he didn't mind anybody in the studio. He was just doing his own shit and I mean you don't have to, but he's not vibes, like I don't like it. I think he's a cool artist, but he's not he's not friendly. Like you just said hi, you just put his game hi. I was like, hey, wait. Any let me call send on the baby. Watch your shit. Let me go and sit down like hey hi. Hey, why? I tell you your girlfriend. Hmm. David Do. Hey. This one yeah. I don't know how to talk about. I don't wanna get sued. So I'm going to choose my words wisely. I don't know if it's David O himself that is the problem or his security is the problem. We went to the table. I was scared as fuck. If I took I did as I was at the table. I was like, Everyone is like, don't take videos, don't do that, don't do this, don't do Hey, I've never been taking videos on the nigga. I was taking videos on the club. No, the guy nearly smacked them. The phone out of my hand. I was like, hey, what is this? What is going on? Like, literally, that was me. Like, and like, he has security one here, one here. Even by the time you realize there's one there. So, everybody is watching. By the time you realize, someone is coming to tell you that, hey, I don't know whether it's because of his issues he had previously with girls, but I don't know what the issue was. He came with some girl. I would say he came with, there were a group of people, and a girl too was there she was just moving the experience I, I i don't want to talk too much about it but they were just really moving weird it was later when he went to the center that we're allowed to snap but if you're on the table you cannot snap him imagine you cannot snap him i went came on the table he said hi and everything but <gasps> the experience was just weird it was just awkward i don't think i ever want to put myself in that situation maybe he's those kind of people like if i don't know you there's a barrier and that's completely fine everybody everybody and how they move 
I'm sorry if I'm not eating and doing this because it's very, very difficult. So, the next people are energy. Funny enough, energy, I've known them since last year. And, like, I would say they're my friends, but we are cool. Like, we talk, we FaceTime when they're around and stuff like that. So, energy, I'll give them an A. An A because they're friendly and all, but they're very arrogant. Like, they're very, very arrogant. They're just kind of boys, like... <laughs> Like, if you treat them some kind of way, they're like, you know who the fuck I am? Hey, who the fuck are you? <laughs> you didn't tell us who the fuck you are. Like, <laughs> I'll, just, I'll give an area friendly. They've never done those things to me, but I've seen them do it, and it's just like, all right, chill. The last one, uh, last but one is Mr. Easy. Mr. Easy, I've known him since I was 16. I've known him since he came out with skin tight. Like, he's my friend. Like, he's my friend. Like, we used to be very, very cool, but when he left Ghana, moved to the UK. And me, I'm not someone, me, I mean, I, let, let's be honest, some of these celebrities in Ghana, I've known them prior. I used to hide their music, I used to, but like, when they got into the fame, they kind of changed. So, I'm not gonna be like, oh, blah, 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 hi, this and this and this. I'll go to you and move to you, oh, hi, like, have you been? But if you give me some off vibes, never again. There's some celebrities that, we used to text like not even on a relationship thing but we used to text we used to be cool when they hate it's like i'm like all right like do you if you don't want to associate yourself or they i don't say they don't want to associate but they move different and i don't like that i don't like that so i'm not even gonna put myself for you but easy is a vibe i'll give easy a 10 out of 10 when easy saw me he was so welcoming he was welcoming to my friends he brought my friends to the table he was like hey do you know i've known this girl since she was 16 i was like hey now you're married every two months so you don't know he was like ah, i know you did. like his vibes his vibes like easy i'll give him a 10 out of 10 because it's like even if we've not spoken in like four or five years, like when we saw each other, it's like, hey, are you still there? Those things, like he spoke, he spoke to us. He was so welcoming and friendly to my friends. And yeah, I fucked with easy. So I'm gonna give him a 10 out of 10. Another celebrity I'll give a zero is Dookie Thought. Dookie Thought is not friendly. She came to the table and she's like, she's looking at my friends and I and like, I'm like, look at you. Are you, who are you? <laughs> Like I don't I don't mind you think you're high and all but like if you try and be looking at she's a zero like Dickie do better babe like your attitude stinks I don't like it and she's very she she's those no new friends kind of people and yeah me I'm sometimes like that so I really understand but like me if you talk to me I'll talk to you or if I come to the table I'll be like oh hi like do you get it she doesn't have to but you don't gotta come look at us like okay i'm going to do a part two let me know what you guys think about the video and give me your opinions on whether maybe i was a bit too harsh or they don't have to talk to me or this because i feel like as a celebrity a public figure you should be able to talk to anybody and everybody don't go out of your way to talk to people but in the case you're in an area with people you don't even know like a, a simple oh hi is fine like that's what i do and yeah Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. I couldn't really do the mukbang, but you guys should really try this out. The chili dip, the lemon and lime chicken wings, whatever, whatever. It's good. And see you guys. I put heels on bitches neck if they disrespect. You rarely see me in Nike, but I don't miss the